Welcome back everyone. This morning breakthrough research is underway on a million year old fossil found in New Mexico. And what makes this story even more interesting is the 10 year old local boy who made the rare discovery. News 13 Sarah Yingling is joining us now with details on what happens next. That's right. She spoke with the boy and the professor leading the research team at NMSU. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Crystal. Yeah, as we speak, the one ton stegomastodon skull is being kept on the NMSU campus at the Vertebrate Museum. It may look familiar to you because scientists say it's the ancestor to the modern day elephants. Today, researchers are using this massive head to learn more about the prehistoric creature. We have a unique opportunity to, to really compare what the animal looks like at a much larger, complete scale and compare it with others. Biology professor Peter Hood says it's a rare find, a nearly complete skull of a mammal dating back to the Ice Age. And it was found in Las Cruces, New Mexico, right on the outskirts of Jude Sparks neighborhood. The curious 10-year-old boy literally fell into the discovery. I had no idea what it was. Jude says he tripped over the tusk in November. Instead of trying to dig it out themselves, the Sparks family called Professor Hood after seeing that he had made a similar fossil discovery a few years ago. It was absolutely clear what it was, um, and, and I knew exactly what species it was as soon as I saw it. That now makes two fossils from what could be the same type of animal, adding another piece to this massive puzzle. It seems more obvious right now that these two are much more closely related to one another than people had previously appreciated, or at least possibly so. The other skull that Professor Hood found was 10 miles south of campus. He believes there are more out there. Back to you. How crazy is that? Thanks so much, Sarah. Student volunteers, the Sparks family, and the professor, they dug the false out using their hands and heavy equipment. Professor Hood says it's extremely rare to find fossils nearly completely intact. Most fall apart into tiny fragments by the time they're found.